Okay, so hi, my name is Eun Sook Kim from uh, Kakao Brain from South, uh, South Korea. Actually, me and Yoo Jung and Woo Young are the member of Kakao Brain team at uh, named on GQ a little bit. Actually, we are very happy to present our work at this workshop as the winner presentation. And actually, after the competition, we are preparing a paper to be submitted on archive with Kyung Un. And Pyong Tak Jang is Yu Jung and Kyung Un's advisor at Seoul National University, South Korea. Okay, so actually, we have been trying to solve two fundamental problems of multimodal learning tasks. So first problem, the first problem is to align the information level between modalities. So as you already know, you guys already know, the each low level signals from the multimodal inputs usually pre-processed using their own pre-processing method and the low level signals is presented in a feature vector and those feature vectors are combined into the joint representation. But here we focus on the some problem, uh, we focus on the disparity of information level between the, those two uh, feature vectors. And we argue that the, those two feature vectors are, should be aligned, aligned on the same information level before the combining it to the joint representation. So that was the first problem we, we want to consider. And second problem is the, we want to consider the high order correlation between modalities. So conventional uh, attention methods for multimodal learning, uh, typically the, the attention methods try to model the point, uh, element-wise interaction between just two feature vectors. Or recently, some works like MFB by Zhou or bilinear attention networks by Kim et al. Uh, try to model the high level interactions such as object in images and words and question sentences. And from those perspective and beyond those methods, we want to real, uh, we really want to focus, uh, consider the higher, high order interactions between modality, which considers the inherent structures uh, in each modalities. So we want to make some new attention methods which can consider the higher the correlation between the modalities. So those two are um, problems we want to consider. And so here are some ideas suggested in, in this work to resolve the mentioned two problems. So first of all, to align the information level between modalities, we suggest to use the symbolic or, and structural representation for both, both, uh, for both uh, multiple modalities. So for example, for the image representation, we suggest to use the sing, sing graphs as the symbolic structural representations. And for the question, question modality, we suggest to use the dependency tree with the tokens as the symbolic structural representation. And we argue that those, uh, those two modalities um, have to combine in those, in those same information level in the symbolic and structural representation. And for the second problem, to consider the higher order correlation between modalities, we suggest to um, matching the two graphs because for the image and question representation, we use the structure, uh, we, we transform the, those two uh, modalities into the graph forms. So we try to matching the graph, uh, two, two gra subgraph, uh, try to matching the two subgraphs. But unfortunately, as the subgraph matching problem is the one of the NP hard problem, we suggest an approximate problem to subgraph matching using the comparing the semantics of just random path on graphs of two graphs. And actually, we suggested a new method called hypograph attention networks with these ideas. And we thought that the GK data set is very suitable for to verify our, idea, our, our ideas. So now I will introduce the, about the hypergraph attention networks in three steps. For the first step, we constructed two symbolic graphs for each, each modality. So as I mentioned, for the image representation, we use the same graphs for the symbolic graphs. And for custom sentences, we use the dependence tree with tokens for the um, 
sentence, uh, for the symbolic graphs for sentence. One thing, one interesting I should note it here is the, we use the flattened symbolic graphs, which means that the edge labels and attribute labels of the same graphs are present, uh, represented as just nodes. So here, there are words on or out pink, yellow labels, but those words are represented as nodes. The reason we use the flattened thing graph is to make the same structure with the dependence, plus dependence tree because there are no edge labels and attribute labels in dependence tree. So we want to make same graph structure between thing graphs and dependence plus tree. And after deconstructing two symbolic graphs, we have two symbolic graphs with two set of nodes, and each of the JSS metrics have just directed and weighted edge information. And after constructing the two symbolic graphs, we define a, a two transition probability metrics according to the uh, number of outgoing, outgoing edges of, of each graphs. So we defined the two transition probability P like this. And using the transition probability P and hyperparameter K, which define the step size of random, random, walk, random walk path, we sampled n number of high, uh, random walk paths from the image graphs and m number of high, uh, random walk paths from the question graphs. So each of random walk paths is considered as the, a subgraph structure. And after sampling n number of uh, random walk paths and m number of random walk paths from the two uh, hypergraphs, uh, we define the cementing of the each random work, path, random work path. So as the random work path consists of a series of word vectors, word, word information, so each, each random work, each, each semantic of random work path is represented a, as a uh, summation vector for the global vectors. Including, including the random pass. So after getting the each semantic representation for the random up path, random up pass, we can calculate. Oh, okay, <laughs> we can we can calculate the attention metrics by using just simple bilinear operator like this. So after getting the attention metrics A, we can uh, combine this uh, attention metrics A with uh, another BK met, uh, methods like BAN or MFB, which are using the bilinear relationship between two modalities. So this is our method. This is all about our method. So I will skip this part briefly. So for the experimental leader, we visualize the uh, tension metrics um, uh, by the hypograph attention networks. So you can say that this suggests an attention method by matching the semantics of subgraphs or well and list in this data set, and it is very helpful to GQ task. And also the quantitative result, we, we yes, we did so many experiments. So actually, we combined our networks, we, are, uh, we combined our attention method to two previous SOTA methods like MFB and BAN, and we can check the effectiveness of the our suggested method hyper network hypergraph attention networks and after uh, and further competition we use the um, image features and we combine the image features with our networks and from those experiments we can dramatically approve improve the GQA performance with HN network about 12% and this is some minor things which we use for the GK competition. So we train the old data set, not just using balanced data set. And we extract new object level feature vectors using VBox information from Syngraphs. And we did not use the test data dataset for fine-tuned. And during the competition, we achieved the best single model accuracy at 69.46. And with 50 model ensemble, yeah, we have 73.73, 70, uh, 73. and we submitted the result to the competition. 
So actually, again, after the competition, we don't have much time to publish our uh, a paper about our work, but we are working hard to publish the paper and code. And before the uh, publishing, if you have any question or comment, then please send me email via this email address. Thank you. Thanks a lot.